It is a good time to be a Squirtle fan. You guys know how much I adore this Pokemon. Everything from Squirtle to Wartortle to Blastoise. But we got to go back to the basics and just talk about Squirtle and how awesome of a Pokemon he is. And how many products. I mean, it's not a whole lot, but there's a few products that were just recently um, that I kind of found out about uh, a couple that were just recently also kind of um, pre-orderable released uh, but just Squirtle everything's coming back to Squirtle like I, I love that Squirtle is getting so much merch um, and it's just gonna fill up my shelf uh, the first one that I wanted to talk about is the one that you see right here now please excuse uh, the pictures and everything um, the other two I was able to save the photos so that way I can kind of uh, you know we can look at a, a better somewhat of a bigger picture of them this one unfortunately i couldn't like it's, it's on the pokemon center website and i couldn't save a photo from it i, I think it's like protected somehow and in, in, in a sense where i can't use it for any other purpose so i had to do like a screenshot hence why you can see like my battery percentage and, and whatever but forget all that anyway on to the pokemon gallery figures now i've reviewed um two of these figures before on my channel uh i can't remember which ones we took a look at i want to say one of them was rowlet um but you can guys can kind of browse through my entire history and then uh kind of look for it there but these gallery figures are very very nice essentially what it is it spot size a particular pokemon with a specific attack so for instance uh rowlet does leafage um charizard i believe does blast burn uh psyduck uses confusion so on and so forth this one in particular is a Squirtle. Squirtle is, in fact, using Bubble. Now, it's kind of a little bit odd that it's, like, in a ring. Uh, I don't know it, why that is. I would just imagine it just be, like, a string of bubbles, just kind of, like, you know, uh, like, kind of, like, laser beam. Almost, like, I guess, bubble beam. But I guess then that would have to change the attack, maybe? Not sure. But uh, either way, it's really, really cool. I love the expression on its face, on how it's just, like, you know, it's the same expression it always has when it does its attacks in the anime. The wave that it's on, let's take a closer look at this. The wave on its on, uh, on that it's on is very detailed. It's surfing on its uh, on its uh, stomach, uh, and then the base is. I just like I love the blue to it. Everything about this is just so good. Um, I'm definitely gonna order one eventually, probably next month when I start getting paid some more. But. Uh, I can't wait to have this and put it on my shelf. You guys should definitely check out the uh, Pokemon Center uh, gallery figures. So if you just go to PokemonCenter.com and just look under uh, gallery figures, there's like, oof, I can't remember. I want to say there's like probably at least 20, 25 at this point uh, that they've released. Um, a lot of the starters, and obviously they have like the bigger ones, which were Charizard, Mewtwo, and I think Greninja, uh, which the Greninja one is really, really cool. We should probably take a look at that at another point in time. Uh, maybe I'll do a whole other video where we just kind of browse through the gallery figures and, and just kind of uh, discuss and, and talk about like what we like and dislike about each one. But these are really cool. Go check them out, PokemonCenter.com, gallery figures. All right, the next thing I want to talk about is one that I already pre-ordered and I'm looking forward to it to be released in, is it September? Oh, same month as the other one. Uh, it's, a, it's an Amiibo. It's a Squirtle Amiibo. Now, about a month ago, I like just ran into GameStop and not ran into GameStop, but like I went off into GameStop and, and ran to somebody that was like, hey, uh, I want to pre-order this and this. And I was like, oh, those are new Amiibos coming out. And, and I was like, hey, what new Amiibos are pre-orderable? And they're like, oh, so we have the Pokemon Trainer and then we have the uh, Pichu and then something else. I can't remember. I was like, oh, Pokemon Trainer, Pichu, done. So I pre-ordered those two. And then I was, I also overheard that there was going to do like an Ivy Store Squirtle. I was like, hey, do you know anything about those? Like, no, we, we, nothing's come up. I haven't heard anything about it. Then just like out of nowhere, I don't, I think I saw this on like Nintendo, uh, a Nintendo Twitter account that this, this Amiibo was just up, up and ready for pre-order. And I'm like, wait, what? So I checked on Amazon, checked on GameStop. They were ready for pre-order. Um, I went straight to GameStop. Pre-ordered this one, pre-ordered the Ivysaur. The Ivysaur is pretty cool looking too. But obviously, you know, I had to get Squirtle and I cannot wait to get this one. Uh, open it up and just uh, display it with the rest of my Pokemon uh, Amiibos. I think I'm missing... Okay, so I have all the Pokemon Amiibos except for the Detective Pikachu one because I'm not too fond of it. I'm not like... It's not something that I really, really want slash need. Although next time I see it, if, if I do run into it, I'll probably pick it up. Uh, and then like an Incineroar Amiibo basically at this point. That would be the only one I won't have. And that's the only one they haven't announced just yet. But I'm pretty sure they'll get to that. But this one's pretty nice. Look at it. It's just, again, the, Squirtle's happy face. He's just jumping for joy. 
Um, he's having a great time. Uh, I kind of wish that he, I don't know, kinda, he looks like he's staying on his tail. I, I, again, I'm going back to the whole he's just jumping for joy kind of attitude. Uh, I kind of wish they had gone with a more standard, I guess, basic, uh, you know, amiibo where he's just like maybe just standing or maybe he's getting ready to do attack, kind of like how the gallery figure looked like. You know, he was getting ready to do his attack. Um, just a little, little bit more, I guess, low key. This one just looks a little, you know, funky, not funky, but a little awkward, I guess. Regardless, I, I still love it. I love Squirtle, uh, and of course, I'm going to get it. And then the last one that I want to talk about is one that I've been waiting for so long, ever since they released the Pikachu version of it, and I was like, okay, they have to go through with this, and when they started releasing Bulbasaur and then Charmander, there was like a large gap, and I was like, okay, what is going on? Why have they not announced this Squirtle one? Yep, lo and behold, it is a Squirtle Funko Pop figure. Oh, obviously I've already pre-ordered one uh, and, on uh, Entertainment Earth. Um, I just went to that link right away. I didn't, didn't want to waste any time. Now, I will say that these Funko Pops aren't that hard to get, honestly. Uh, let's see, the Pikachu one, that one is, for whatever reason, they had like two waves of them. Can't get them anymore. I don't ever see them in the store. But the Bulbasaur and the Charmander, those ones, so they, they were out at first. Uh, they... After they sold out the first wave, it, it kind of took a while for a, a restock to happen. And now they're kind of all over the place. You can kind of easily get like a Bulbasaur or a Charmander like at a Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble has like the most. I don't think people realize that Barnes & Noble, you can easily get certain pops over there. So if you haven't gotten your Bulbasaur and Charmander because you haven't found them like a GameStop or whatever, go check at Barnes & Noble and I'm pretty sure you'll find one. Um, so these, but the, the 10 inch ones are hard to get. So the 10 inch Pikachu, yeah, that one's gone. Uh, no one, I can't seem to find any stores anymore. I did get one. I pre-ordered it from Target. So it was pretty, uh, I was, well, I didn't pre-order. I like I had to wait <laughs> until like 2 a.m. or something like that to, to order it online. And then the 10 inch Bulbasaur, I think I went straight to the store as soon as it was, it was released, but I don't see them in stores anymore. Uh, the 10 inch Charmander is coming out on August 2nd. Uh, that one I have to kind of wait in store for, or probably I might just try to wait online for it, um, depending on how I feel, because I think that's like a Saturday. But the, now, now finally, after so long, we finally get an announcement of a Squirtle Funko Pop figure coming out in September. And let me tell you, the face is a little awkward, not going to lie. That's always been uh, Funko Pop figures' thing, but... I just, I love it. I love, it's just, I, I wish, I think we had a picture of the back. It just, it looks too cute. It's too perfect for me. I'm going to take it with me everywhere. I'm going to take so many pictures with it. My Instagram now at this point, my, 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 uh, my channel Instagram is just going to be just filled with Squirtle Funko Pop figure uh, photos with, with me taking it like out rating or maybe just, um, I don't know, shopping or whatever. So if, if you want to follow my Instagram, it would be SpartanStrike07. I haven't done much on there recently, but once this one comes out, I feel like I'll be on there a lot more. Uh, yeah, every, it's really, really nice. Uh, you guys should definitely pre-order it. I can't wait till the 10-inch one comes out. But people, so there was a Twitter account that kind of went crazy with it and did like chase variants. There's like a chase variant of, uh, of obviously with Squirtle and his glasses. And then there was another one, like a five pack where it was like the main Squirtle with the pointy sunglasses and like four other Squirtle, uh, with the, um, with the regular glasses, the, the, the circle ones, which would be crazy. I mean, I would drop money in a heartbeat just for that. Uh, I'm kind of waiting to see if they would do a variant. They, probably, they most likely won't. Uh, but if they don't, and or if they free, if they for sure don't, most likely I'll just pick up like four or five Squirtle and just kind of, I don't know, maybe make my own custom ones. We'll see. I'm gonna think. Of, I'm gonna wait until I see other people maybe make custom Funko Pop figures of Squirtle and see how they did it, and then try to mimic it. And if I can do it correctly, I'll definitely end up buying more Squirtle to make my own Squirtle Squad because that would just be fantastic. Oh, oh man all right so there you go three squirtle figures that i think you guys should definitely check out especially if you are a big squirtle fan as i am or if you're just a general water type um, pokemon fan like i am uh definitely check out these products uh if not the funko pop figure if not the amiibo definitely check out the gallery figures and see if your favorite pokemon is up there um, because these are really really nice and that's going to be just about it so thank you guys for uh, checking in with me uh, i will see you guys next time